Good afternoon, Sarah. We're in a tiny little hamlet in the council area of Mercedes de Camino. Well done. Regazia de Mercedes de Camino, yes, okay, which belongs to Alviazre. It's um, a bit windy, so I'm hoping you can hear me. We are in, if you look around, it, it is a hamlet. There's no houses here, it's just forest behind you is a, a street of quite nicely restored and new houses and it carries on down there and we are a little bit unfortunate to call the bin the boundary but the boundary <laughs> of the land you can see the split levels the different colors as it goes down there to the to the where, where the white meets the stone that's the edge of the property okay and then the slope the sloping roof going up that's the property that and the plot to the left yeah one behind is the neighbour. Yeah, so we'll get to the to the properties in a little while. Yeah. But I think there's quite a bit to discuss, isn't there, about a, another little building that we've got here. Yeah. And vehicular access onto the land. Yes, there is. And there's also because at the moment it's off it's off street parking, but it wouldn't take very much at all. Can I just say that obviously there's there's a huge amount of, uh, of vines here that if yeah. someone took care of them, you, you've obviously got an area of well-established vines. Yeah. They've just been left to sort of do their own thing. We've probably got approximately 10 olive trees on the land. There's some sort of weeping willow there. And we've got an enormous cacti thing. Well, it's a palm tree growing through there, isn't tree. it? Thank you. And that's some sort of fruit. I'm going to say they're plums. Yeah, they look like plum damsons. Plums, yeah, damsons. And then the boundary, we're going to go through here, but the boundary goes round here along the street. Yeah, I'll just kind of try and show it. Yeah, OK. Oh, I see. You're going to go down the road and I'm going to fall in? No, no, no. <laughs> no I'm just showing down the road where because that, that is where the boundary goes. And then I'm going to come and catch you up. Yeah, OK. Well, while you're doing that, I'll see if I can get the door open. Okay. But actually, the palm here is nice. Huge pine tree. I honestly don't know if you can hear anything. The wind is very strong. That's a really Massive nice pine tree, actually. Fig here. And we have got a lemon. I was talking to someone yesterday and the one thing you needed was a lemon. Oh, <laughs> another fruit tree. Right. I haven't looked in here. Yeah, so I've no idea if you can hear Sarah because she's run off at a galloping rate. But yeah, we've got a lemon tree, okay. uh, an olive tree. tree, and a really attractive pine tree, all on the boundary. So <laughs> meet up with Sarah again. Now she's in range of the microphone for sure. Okay, right, yeah. Well, that's why I popped my just, out and checked it. I'll realized. turn my light on. We were both doing completely different things. <laughs> right. Okay. Actually, not too bad on the cobweb front. Yeah, not too many, not too many cobwebs at all. Yeah, yes. stone built shed at the end of the garden. Could you get a studio in here? Yes. You could, couldn't you? Workshop, definitely. Pottery room, art room. Yeah, Coffee. but I, I meant a studio apartment. Loads of shelving. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, if you put mezzanine in. Yeah. Ring beam it. You could Gives just 30 around. centimetres, isn't it? Yeah. Pop a mezzanine in and some good good insulation. If not, fabulous garden shed. Mezzanine, little kitchenette here with their yeah. bathroom. If not, studio, I mean, if you work from home, this would be great. You just walk up the garden and you've disassociated yourself from the house. Yeah. And you've gone to work, but you don't have to have left. Yeah, some people do find that handy, don't they? Yeah, actually... a lot of people struggle with like, actually working... In the house In itself. In the house. Yeah, like me, I'm usually distracted by the fact that there's lots of other household things I'm meant to do. That's <laughs> typewriter. <laughs> Sorry, that's my butterfly, isn't it? Yeah, that is definitely today's butterfly is an old-fashioned typewriter. Aww. Okay, right. Definitely won't work. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right, it's stone apart from this one wall, which has obviously been rebuilt out of concrete block. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mention that. But, well, it's pretty fairly obvious. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> luckily, 
The door? The door. <laughs> just while I was there. Knock me out. <laughs> so I just put it back where it was. You okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll try and dull down the shrieking in, in, in editing. Apart from that, well, actually, we've got another funny moment because Paul's just tried to climb in through yeah, the well, hole. Yeah, let's not, let's, not, let's not talk about that. We'll talk about it later. I had me <laughs> um, I have to do it again, yeah. Yeah, with the camera. With the camera. It'd be even funnier. Um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah, this is the, we're just coming up to the boundary here. Yeah. I was yeah. wondering, best we might as well walk down here now. We've got a yeah. car, haven't we? Yeah. The, obviously, the access yeah. goes this far, or they've just cleared yeah, that's the path. The, that's where we just started the video from, next to that bin there. So that tree's off the boundary. Oh, look, here's vine. Here's yeah. the start of the vine going up. Yeah. So let's, I think we've just jumped off the boundary, but for the sake of not being, not falling over, which is preferable. Yeah, he said he is going to clean the land next week. But you've got great land for vegetables. But no, it's a lovely plot of land. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, and it, you know, in a pleasant, quiet area. Yeah. Nice village. Perfectly big enough. So if you wanted to have the animals, oh, yeah, he just pushed me out of the way, you know. <laughs> um, you could just have the outbuilding for the animals, keep them on the slightly hilly bit. Yeah. And have a good old veggie plot down here, yeah. which is clearly what the neighbours do. Yeah, I mean, I'll just pan around to the neighbour's land. So it is, I mean, slightly clay, but good soil. Yeah, they haven't got anything in him at the moment but the cabbages. Have you? No, but you can, you can tell why it's been tilled. And these look like courgettes that are going straight over the fence. Actually, if you pan this way, it's very nice land. It's very nice plot. It's very nice location. Yeah, with lovely views. Yeah. And there's only one kind of um, unfinished house, really. No, that's what I was saying about yeah, it the, is. the around being... Yeah, I'm not in bad shape at all. No, no, because sometimes people get put off when we're surrounded by ruins. And just the nature of central Portugal is that you are often... Yeah, surrounded by ruins. Surrounded by ruins. But you're not here. It's a mixture. And that is good. Okay, so we have a, some wild courgettes. <laughs> no. That have obviously strayed into the garden. Yeah. It's very naughty of them. <laughs> um, but naughty. I guess what right. strays onto your land becomes yours. <laughs> so here we've got a large nesper tree, yeah. a fig, yeah. An orange, I guess, and two olives there. Yeah, so there's your, there's, your, there's your fig tree, there's your orange tree, and I shall come round, and that's your Nespera, or in English, a loquat tree there. So I'd never heard of a loquat when I lived in England. Have no, but that is what they're called. So this is, I guess, it's a retaining wall, but it's a terrace. Yeah. Maybe quite nice terrace. Yeah, no, it's very nice. You know, got the sun and the shade down there, so you've got a mixture. And we have steps. Now, you could possibly hit your head on here as well if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. I don't think you need to try. Drainage in the patio areas, which is important. No, actually, I, I, I fit under there. Okay, Mark. Without sucking or anything. Right, you won't fit under there, though, will you? Um, okay. I do, just, yeah. Oh, golly, right, okay. So, this area here, we're going to be, it's a little bit disjointed because this is not, there's no doorway through inside. No. But this is where you'd increase your area. Yeah, yeah, if you wanted to. And it's very, very cool and really thick stone work. I can feel the coolness walking in, even though we opened the door half an hour ago. Um, and I think... Yeah, it's a large room, isn't it? I mean, personally, I always think with this height, you put a mezzanine in and be able to use, even it's quite hot this week, it's yeah. not hot in here. No, it's cool in here. So you, that, you know, that could be a mezzanine. Could be. This could be an independent studio. It could be connected to the property. Yeah, it could be a bathroom, a yes, kitchen, diner. It could Reason be why not. anything no. you want. No. Um, it's, a, it's a nice big space. 
Yeah, you. Yeah. What I mean, this is probably this is probably as big as the house as we've got on the paperwork. Uh, sorry, on the advertised on the square meters. So I've not been here before. No, hang on. Let me look. I'll do. I'll do it. Okay. So the wall is about three quarters of a meter. One, two, three, four, five. Let's call it five and a half meters by. <laughs> I don't know what those words. Two, three, four, by five. I've just called it five by five. Yeah, so that's twenty. Nice ceramics. So that's twenty-five square meters. Just this bit, isn't it? And really old um, oil bottles. Yeah. Getting distracted. Okay, so good space room. Pop a mezzanine in. Use it however you wish. Now, do you want to say about your idea of, of filling this area in? So yeah, no? I, I actually think you could. Yeah, fill this in, even if it was just with glass or... Yeah, if you did it with glass so that it stayed cool. Yeah, and then it, and then it becomes uh, all, all a wooden structure or anything, you know, blocks. Uh, of course, if it's blocks, you need, need more, of a, more of a project. But, yeah. uh, but you could make it basically, yeah. make a corridor and, um, and tie in the entire house, couldn't you? There's no door there, actually. Uh, There's lots of things you could do. So here we yeah. have a nice covered courtyard. Yeah. Which, if you wanted to, you could drive a car in here. But you could. You'd, be, you'd be ruining your. You kind of would be ruining. I mean, this is the off street parking, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. You know, so it has got off street parking. I said it hadn't earlier, but actually, it does have off street parking if that's what you want to use it for. But for a really, I'm just gonna, oops, go out here and say, for a bit of excavation work. You could actually drive up and make a decent uh, parking area, couldn't you, from there, without any bother? Not not a lot of expense at all. And this is all solid. This is all concrete. Yeah, it's all concrete ring roof. Love that corner glass circular feature. Circular features. Yeah, I've seen it on the pictures on the website. I've never actually seen it before. It's actually yeah. quite cool. It is. It is. It's it's the size. We're going to have to alter the script. The size of people get put off by, but you can easily, I mean, it's completely habitable. Are you going to come in and go into that room? Oh, it's in good condition. There's no question about that. Let's we'll just move that. into Let's just, Yeah, yeah. Absolutely move into a ball. Yeah. And extendable. You just stay here a couple of months while you figure out how you extend it. Yeah. Or oh, make your mind up straight away. Some people do that. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so it's distracted again by a plant. Um, no, it's a ceramic. It's, oh, it's ceramic. Oh, it's 30 years he still thinks I'm plastic, plastic plants are what's doing it for me. Right. I was convinced there was a toilet in here. Yeah, but, but this, in fact, a lot about umbrellas or walking sticks. Well, umbrellas. But storage. Yeah, it's a brick and cupboard. that's important. Yeah. So as we come into here... Yeah. Broom, um, broom cupboards are always an important place. Mm -hmm. So here we are. I'm sure I turned these lights on. Come out of a seat. No. It's hot. Um, so yeah, here, I mean, it's a small kitchen, but a perfectly functional kitchen. I mean, the Got property is absolutely, a, a, if you wanted to buy it and use it as a holiday home, rent it out the rest of the time. Or you buy it and you extend into the room next door and just create a larger area. There is the area upstairs, which Paul's going to attempt to get into yeah, again, yeah. apparently, um, would be good as like children's bedrooms or playroom and storage. Yeah. Um, obviously, once they get to, I can stand up in it, but yeah. you know, children under 10 probably. Yeah, it's a storage room or a children's play area. It's nothing more than that, but I will go up just. Just to give Sarah a good laugh. Now these are, it's a double bedroom. There's two large chest of drawers in here. So you, yeah. could, you could get a big proper wardrobe in this side. And a full double. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it is a double bedroom. Right, this is the smallest of the rooms. Yeah. Which I think, well, obviously there's a bed in it. Yeah. And it's got a three quarter bed at the moment and there is room around it. So, I imagine this is similar. Yeah. Technically, we've got three bedrooms, haven't we? Yeah. But you've got two, one very good size bedroom, double, another yeah. good size double. And this one, single bedroom or an office. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It, it, it does have um, the possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you just peel back that shower curtain for me? Well, there's lots of feet in here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Obviously, it's not real ones. There you go. Is that better? Well, that's good. Glad to, I'm glad to hear that nobody's lost their feet. Yeah, shower, shower room. Uh, double of you see, all in one. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. I think it's a sweet cottage with, with the potential to expand on a fantastic land plot yeah. with another building uh, on the top that could be a workshop, could be an office, could be a studio apartment. Could be an animal shed. Could be an animal go. shed. You, you yeah. could do anything. You could yeah. Oh, my. Well, land and, and usually we've actually got flat land. Yeah. Because you know everyone wants flat land because it's easy to work, and often the land is not flat. No. So we have got well, flat land with a small bank going up, and um, it's completely habitable. The price is great. We're going to adjust the square meters on the website. They're wrong. Yeah, they're completely wrong. Yeah. We're going to we're, we're going to have to do a little pace out. Have a little chat with the owner about that. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. I'm so, going to point out you just in case it went horribly wrong. Yeah, I don't think it's. Actually, I don't think it can. I don't think it's real. But I don't think I should try. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I've already gone. No. They've usually got holes in the end. It's what? They've usually got holes in the end when they're real guns. Oh, I, don't be so stupid as to look down the gun. Yeah. It's got a hole in the end. Not really. Trust me, that wouldn't work. Right, okay, I'll trust you. Right, can we get through this tiny little hole that made me laugh? Oh, fireplace. Yeah, I've done the fireplace. Have you? Okay, yeah. marvellous. Yeah. Okay. Oh, again, here, you could enclose that in glass. If yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, because absolutely. Because if you were to interlink, what are you filming? You're filming the wall and the neighbour. Yeah, I, I, yeah, kind of. If you wanted to interlink this area with the upstairs area, yeah, then to have that filled in with glass or wood or something, it would make it all, you know, in the winter, it's still completely viable. Yeah. Yeah? And make it all very, very usable. Okay, so I think it's time that I went upstairs and <laughs> gave you your special little treat and laugh for the day. Because this is... Done. A really tiny door. <laughs> I didn't think it was so tiny until I watched him try to get through with it big, and with get a, back out of it. Lead. And it uh, turns out I'm going to leave him with the camera. I'm so mean. I've got a cunning plan. A cunning plan. Shall I just? Shall I just take the camera? No, no, no. Yeah, I could, I could video you. I'm showing, I'm showing the internet. Oh, you find a way to not have it fall through. <laughs> That's sneaky. I'm depriving her of, her of it. Yeah. Okay. But there's, there's loads of storage up here, isn't there? Or as we said, a children's playroom. Yeah, I mean, here, I mean, I've got a head height tool here. So yeah. um, if you interlink that area down there, um, I think you're looking at my knees. Yeah. Hi. It's a great. Oh, Ooh, good look. Oh, cool. um, it's better than the sound they made. Yes, yeah, yeah, I know. Did you hear that? Creep? I did hear them crack, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting old at all. When Paul came in here, he looked really funny trying to get in. Yeah. And then after saying, don't hit your head, hit your head. And then on the way out, he did exactly the same thing. He had me in stitches, but maybe I'm just demeaning. Right, okay. So this is a usable space one way or another. Yeah. Right, go on then. We'll both get up, shall we? Well, yeah, no, I think we should just I've stay. Got, what am I saying goodbye like this? <laughs> am I coming up? Well, say, it's, 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 no, I, I think we need to say that it's like how many minutes from now, by Azura? We are, well, we were late. Nine minutes, eight minutes? Yeah, uh, tops, tops. And you're probably 15 from Montreal. Yeah. But if you were to go right, you go down to Barcaro very, very quickly. Um, although it's very quiet here, the Barcaro is on the M110. You've got a cafe, yeah, a supermarket. Yeah, a really good restaurant there. Restaurant there. Decent supermarket. Plus a really, you know, sort of big, quite vibrant bar, isn't it? With a pool table. With a pool table. I mean, that's really just down the road from here, isn't yeah. it? No, actually, location-wise. It's, it's very, good. very good. It's good, yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. The house is, it's a great buy. 
finding anything at the moment under 100k that you can live in as yeah. virtually as possible. So this is a good one. Yeah, I've never been here before and I'm really quite pleasantly surprised by it. I'm really quite uncomfortable. Can we, can we say goodbye? Yeah, we'll say goodbye. Uh, I mean, please do like and subscribe. Please do like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.